Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the Mad Men releases for July 2017. These are all the new releases. You can find them on their website, www.madmen.com.au. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. Let's get into the releases. I'm just a fan and a collector and I want to go over them one by one. So starting with the first one, Chivalry of a Failed Night, the complete series. This is both on Blu-ray and DVD. This is a two disc set. This anime originally aired in 2015. It's a one course series. It has magical fantasy elements where people use their souls as weapons. They, depending on the potency of their soul and what they believe in and stuff like this, they can pull their soul uh, out as a weapon and use it against each other. It follows this guy who ends up dueling a girl who's a princess and the loser becomes a, his slave. So he ends up enslaving a princess or maybe she enslaves him. I don't want to give away any spoilers. Um, but yeah, there's that one. Next comes a DVD set, Date Alive Complete Series. This is season one and season two collected into one DVD set on four discs. Date Alive was originally released by Mad Men on Blu-ray collections of season one and season two. But if you want them both, compiled into one DVD set. This is the set for you. Give some information. Data Live uh, came out in 2013 for the first season and it went all the way through to 2014 with the second season. I think Data Live has some really interesting and cute characters. Obviously a lot of pandering with the girls. Um, so if you're into Data Live or, you know, gaming or magical fantasy series, Data Live is a good one for you. Next is Digimon Adventure Try Part 1 Reunion. Now I am so excited for this set. They offer it both on DVD and Blu-ray. This set offers both an original Japanese audio cast and an English dub, which is fantastic because I am a massive fan of Digimon Adventure, the original series that aired way back, way, way, way back, 20 years ago, something like that. Um, I watched Digimon Adventure back when it aired on Cheese TV on Channel 10, and I loved it, and I have been, honestly, it's been one of the most nostalgic series for me, and uh, I, this is what I talked about in previous videos, bringing back new franchises, Digimon, I'm so happy to see this back in an updated art style with an original story, with basically these are movies, there is a five part series of movies, I'm hoping Mad Men's going to license all of them and release all of them, I don't know about that as of yet. The fifth one hasn't even been released yet, it's actually coming out this season, uh, summer 2017, so yeah, super excited. The, the first Digimon Adventure Try movie, uh, it's called Try, was it originally supposed to be a three-part series? I think so, but anyway, it originally aired in 2015, and I cannot wait to get my hands and check out this new Digimon movie. Next we have Dimension W, the complete series. This is a one course series that aired in 2016. Uh, collected onto two discs, this series follows a bounty hunter. Basically in the new age, uh, humanity has found a way to use infinite energy to stop pollution and these come in the form of coils. Now these coils, uh, you know, people can use them for good or evil and there becomes illegal sources of coils. So he becomes a bounty hunter to seek out these illegal sources and yeah, just basically stop them. So he ends up forming a reluctant partnership with an android girl who is super cute. I've watched the trailers for this one. I want to check this one out and the hijinks ensue. So, uh, you know, he has a pretty badass vibe and she kind of uh, you counteracts that with a, you know, she's younger and cutesy, so that is Diamond, uh, sorry, Dimension W Complete Series. Moving on now to Divine Gate Complete Series, collected on a two-disc set as well. Divine Gate is an original animation from the studio Parrot. Uh, it aired in 2016. It has elemental wielders. Uh, the main character is a water wielder. There's also a fire wielder. All different elemental things, um, and they're trying to cross through a gate protected by government. They're monopolizing this gate, and the gate needs to leads to a new world. So that's basically the plot of Divine Gate Complete Series. Uh, I haven't seen it, so interested in picking that one up as well. Erased Volume 1 collects episodes 1 through 6. It's both on Blu-ray and DVD. Erased aired in 2016. Last year, it's about a time traveler who's trying to clear his name of murder. So Erased has been very popular and I'm hoping that Mad Men are going to release all the volumes and then 
uh, release a box set where you can collect them together because they haven't really done a collector's box set since, um, I want to say like Sword Art Online, um, probably not since like last year or the last two years. I haven't seen like a 3-4 volume set um, and I'm hoping that's what this is going to become. Uh, so yeah, that's volume one. Obviously, they're gonna sequel, uh, sequel Enchi, sequel Obviously, come with the next coming months, they're gonna release volume two, and th well, actually, I think it might just be a two volume set. The series one core, this collects episodes one through six. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a two volume set, but that's good um, for you know finance reasons. Obviously, the less the better. So yeah, erased. I'm very looking forward to picking this one up. Um, I've been wanting to watch this one for a long time, and what better way than to watch it through the official Blu-ray. Gangster, released in 2015, this is the Complete Season 1. Now, I don't know why they called this one the Complete Season 1. There's no plans for Gangster to release, uh, to receive a sequel, but maybe they know something that we don't. Anyway, it's released on both DVD and Blu-ray. I actually checked out Gangster on Anime Lab last year. I'm a fan of gritty mob scene, gangster scenes, and uh, what I got was actually very different than what I predicted. This follows the two main characters, they're these mobsters, and they're basically like, they're doing bad things, but they're only really doing it to the people that deserve it. So, the main one of the main characters is actually deaf, and to hear the English and Japanese voice actor voicing him like he was deaf, missing syllables, and uh, I thought that was really unique, and they did a fantastic job, so... I'm looking forward to picking up Gangster on Blu-ray. Next we have Garo Season 2, Crimson Moon, the complete series. This is the sequel to Garo the Animation. Um, and that one came out, f I think, last... Last... I think it came out 2000... I want to say 2014. Um, anyway, it's... The second season is a fairly different series to the first season. It came out in 2015. It has 23 episodes plus an OVA collected onto this uh, set, so that is four discs in this set. And I gotta say, I really like the artwork on this one. The cover really stands out. Um, fantastic job, whoever designed that cover. Girls Beyond the Wasteland Complete Series. This is a one-core series collected on a two-disc set. This is the subtitle edition. No dub for this one. Came out 2016. It is a, it is a series... No, no, no. I cannot talk! It is a series based on game creation. Specifically, the main character is the script writer, and he gets roped in into creating a video game by this girl, and he is romantically interested in her, and so there's some comedy aspects, some school life aspects, and some uh, romance aspects thrown in there as well. Out of all the releases Mad Men are releasing in July, my favorite, my most anticipated one, is definitely Grimgar Ashes and Illusions Complete Series. They're releasing this one both on DVD, on Blu-ray, and also in a limited edition DVD Blu-ray combo set. So, uh, Grimgar Ashes and Illusions aired last year, 2016, and it's set in a gaming fantasy world, but it's not actually part of any gaming fantasy world. So, think Sword Art Online, think uh, Log Horizon, but this is the real world, this is the reality. So these people wake up in this world and it's real. If you die, there's no respawns, you're dead. Um, and that may sound like a, you know, a method that we've seen before, but this one, I gotta say, it has an amazing art style, and I think it delves more into the aspects of role-playing video games that I would like to see. The classes in this game, let me read out some of these classes. The main character is a priest, he's the leader, there is a thief, a hunter, a mage, a warrior, and a dark knight. Now that, if that doesn't sound like one of the best parties ever created, I don't know what is. Um, basically these people have to earn a living and the only way to do that is to join the backup army and they're, um, you know, they're erasing any threats that come to the city and they're just constantly on the battlefront and I can't wait to pick this one up. Gundam Wrecking Gesta in the G Complete series. I believe this one came out in parts previously. Don't quote me on that because I can't seem to find them on the website. Um, but yeah, it's a new Gundam series. Two core, 26 episodes, came out in 2014. I have seen nothing Gundam, so I can't really say anything about this one, but if you're a Gundam fan, it's a must own. Haru Chika, Haruta and Chika Complete series, subtitled edition. This one came out last year as well. It's about developing the perfect cute girl persona. 
Um, basically, there's this girl, she goes to school and she wants to be cutesy, so she starts playing the flute. Anyway, it turns into a musical anime with bands and romance and flutes and all this stuff. Cute girls doing cute things, you know the drill. So yeah, that's Haruta and Chika. Probably my second most anticipated release by Madman this month, Himoto Umaru-chan Complete Season 1. They released this both on DVD, Blu-ray, and also a limited edition DVD Blu-ray combo pack with a figurine. That is freaking epic. Um, I'm going to be picking up the limited edition DVD Blu-ray combo for sure. Um, I can't wait to see the figure. I can't wait for someone to do an unboxing or, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, basically this is a series that became really popular. When did it air? It aired in 2015. It's about a girl who has this... She puts on this front that she's this perfect student, she's this perfect girl, and uh, behind closed doors she's basically this lazy slob otaku that eats junk food and watches anime and plays video games and wears a dressing gown and, uh, you know, she is unbelievably cute. It's an unbelievably charming series and this is one I think a lot of people are going to pick up for sure. It's collected on three discs. If you get the limited edition DVD Blu-ray combo pack, you get six discs with a figurine. Um, I hope this one sells well because I'd like to see them license the second season of this one, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna do two in one here. Magi, The Labyrinth of Magic, Complete Season 1, and Magi, The Kingdom of Magic, Complete Season 2. These ones were released in parts 1 and 2 uh, back in... A few years ago, they aired, the first season aired in 2012, the second season aired in 2013. I'm actually re-watching uh, the first season of Magi at the moment, if you want to know my impressions on that. Uh, check out my anime I've been watching recently video, and I'll keep you guys updated on that. So, you know, this has become something that Madman, I don't know if they've done it forever, but I've seen it recently. They uh, keep re-releasing their anime series in complete... Uh, editions, and I think this is a great way to get people who didn't necessarily buy them in the parts or in the volumes to buy them in a all-in-one complete edition and for a, you know, a budget of the pr a fraction of the price if you had bought them retail brand new when they came out with the parts. So, you know, I support this. I wish they had brought this one out on Blu-ray because the animation deserves Blu-ray quality, but, you know, it is what it is. Nurse Witch Kamugi-chan R Complete Series. This is the subtitled edition. This came out last year as well. It's uh, collected on a three-disc series and it has magical girls, idols, uh, nurses, all battling each other. And if you're into magical girl, Maho Shoujo genre, this is one for you for... for... for definitely? <laughs> for sure. One Piece Film Gold. They released this one both on Blu-ray and DVD. Definitely pick up the Blu-ray. This one's worth Blu-ray quality. I saw this one in cinemas last year uh, when it aired. It aired in Japan in July. It aired in Australia in October. And I'm really impressed with how quickly they're getting these films out now um, straight from Japan into the Australian cinemas and then onto DVD and Blu-ray. It's very impressive. Um, Last uh, month's new releases had Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimension, which I also saw. I saw that in cinemas in February, so very impressive, uh, Madman. And if you want to see my full impressions on Film Gold, check out my Madman Cinema Reviews. There's five reviews... Is there five? Yeah, five reviews in that. I took about Film Gold of One Piece, I took about Sword Art Online, Ordinal Scale, Your Name, Silent Voice, and I also talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions. The prequel to the film Gold, One Piece Heart of Gold. This is the TV special. It also came out last year. So if you want to check that one out, check that one out. I haven't seen it, so I can't really give too many impressions on that. Wrapping it up now, we're moving down. The Asterix War Part 2. This is episodes 13 to 24. It's actually the second season. Um, this aired 2016. The first season aired the year before. And it's about humans with super abilities. Uh, they get in tournament-style jewels and arcs. So if you're into tournament battles, think of something like Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, Asterix War could be one for you to check out. The Red Turtle. This is a Studio Ghibli Presents film. Um, Studio Ghibli are on the co-production team of this. It's actually made by French animators. And um, yeah, it's, it's in uh, partnership with Studio Ghibli. So the licensing is accurate. Um, but The Red Turtle, it's a new film, and I don't, I don't know what to expect with this one. I, 
it's, you know, it's kind of like this animation studio's first big thing, and it's coming out of France, so... Um, hmm. The Red Turtle. And finally, Undefeated Bahamut... <laughs> Undefeated Bahamut... I don't know how to say that. Chronicle Complete Series. This is the subtitled edition released on two discs. Um, just some notes I have about this one. This is a fantasy, action, harem, mecha, school, romance, etchy, supernatural thriller. I just thought that was funny. It basically had every single genre listed under it, so everything combined into one. Uh, what the what actually happens is this guy basically just walks in on a bunch of these girls in the bath. And he just joins, he joins this all girls academy and ends up bathing with all these girls or at least that's what I want to happen. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see me do a uh, new releases for Mad Men for August, leave a comment down below. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing this, but I thought I'd do a one-off. It may turn into something sequential. So thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.